Hi there, welcome back to the next video and in this video we will move on to the next chart which is line and stack column chart. So we will first of all look at a simple chart not the stack one and then move on to a stack as well. So let's click it over here and this basically shows you that you have bar chart and line chart. So to configure this you have a lot of values over here. So what I'll do is first of all select keep on selecting this and add uh, order date and uh, sales now we have sales on the bars right and on the for the line values which is here we need to drag the field over here so what i want is basically the profit which i will drag it on top of this and i will have a line chart like this now to interpret this chart uh, which is very much required so the sales values are on the y1 axis which is the default axis in this case and this y2 axis basically represent the profit so uh, just not to mix up that sales are in millions whereas profit is in thousands so for the sales which is having 44 thousand sale uh, the profit was merely around uh, 49,520 so the profit is growing which is a good part uh, here in this case along with uh, not so much of a growth in the sales as you can see so this this is how we can create a very simple uh, bar and line chart a very very common chart whenever you want to see some sort of a comparison like for example sales versus sales forecast or budget versus forecast or budget versus spend that you have made you can basically make uh, use of this particular chart now to add the categories to make it a stack or in this case uh, stack column chart what you can do is add one more category like this so if i add the category over here so it has added the category over here with, on the shared axis which is not right so if i just uh, cross this i will add the column series so category if i just add it over there hit here i can see uh, along with the total sales how the sales is is in each of the category so this way we can create our fully functional um, line and stacked column chart which is helpful to understand and uh, the comparative analysis from one dimension versus another dimension over a period of time so that's about it uh, how we can create it this uh, bar and line chart together and i'll meet you in a new video with a new topic